Oh guys, this is so relaxing. All the colors here and the toilet light. What's up Magnets? Welcome back to another Top 5 video and today we're talking about the hottest and weirdest products from China. So I've got all of them from kfago.com. You can find the link down below in the description. And they sent me some of the most hot selling and most trending products. And some of them are really cool, but some of them are also very weird, like this one here. But I would say let's get directly started and let's check them out. So let's have a closer look at the first product and it's called the Fidget Cube. Now, this is a cube for people who like to fidget. Probably you know it from yourself, so if you're nervous, you're biting your nails or you're folding paper all the time and you're playing with stuff like a pen. And this is why they came up with a fidget cube. Actually, I had no idea that such a thing exists. And the craziest thing is that they have raised 6.5 million on Kickstarter and it's just crazy. So now let's see how such a product looks like. And there we go. So here it comes in a very tiny box and I've got a black one and basically everything what is inside is just a quick starter guide or something like that. So just a sheet of paper and here it is. So it is a cube with, with a switch right over here with a joystick like on your PlayStation controller. It comes here with several buttons which, yeah, which feel pretty good to press. Then here we've got something which looks like a dial wheel, you know, on those old telephones. And right over here we've got a steel ball, so you can spin that ball. And here we've got something which looks like a lock, so here you got some gears which you can, yeah, rotate around, slide up and down. And yeah, that's the whole thing. And actually, I have no idea why you need something like that. Probably if you're a heavy nail biter or anything like that, um, this will prevent you biting your nails or um, destroying your pants or something like that. And I'm really nervous when I have to get on a plane, so um, maybe I will take that with me to relieve some of the stress. But yeah, that's the fidget cube. But also, um, very trendy right now are those spinners. And here you can see them, I've got actually two of them. And the only purpose of that thing is, yeah, to spin it. And here you can see a bearing inside, here's some bearings on the outside, so you could also spin it here like this. Well, the fidget cube somehow makes more sense to me, but those spinners, I think, they are totally useless. But they are very, very trendy right now. The next product is this. And this is a transparent glass keyboard. And yeah, it's a Bluetooth keyboard. So basically you can see here all the keys and if you turn it on, then it will light up. And this is an absolute Star Trek feeling. I think it's pretty cool. If you hate to type on your tablet or smartphone, you will definitely hate that thing here. But um, if you, for instance, hook it up to your console and you have it um, in your living room on the table, I think this looks super awesome. Now typing on the keyboard feels better than I thought. So in the last top five review, you can find it on the info card, I reviewed some kind of laser keyboard. This was total crap to be honest. But this thing here works really fine and you can also type really fast, but you don't have any feedback from the keys. So this is why it feels kind of strange. It has here a power button, um, a charge LED, power LED, connection LED and also caps lock. So this is the whole thing. The battery lasts for a week with a full charge. So if you type a lot, if you don't type a lot, it's probably a month if you just hook it up to your console. And the good thing is you can clean it easily. All you have to do is just spray it with some glass cleaner, wipe it and there you go. And I think for the living room or for your smartphone, so to type something, I don't know, every couple of days, this thing here is pretty cool. Now here comes the next one and it's this guy right over here. So this is definitely not something new. It exists for years, but it's right now very trending and it's also very cheap. So you can get this thing here for around 10 bucks. And I think it's a nice decoration. Well, if you don't like a skull, there's an Eiffel Tower, there's a plane, so you can get that in different forms and shapes and you can find a link down below. So well, let's have a close to look now what is that thing so as you can see we have here a skull it's basically lasered on some kind of plexiglass plate and here we have the base station and yeah I'm a USB cable this one here is connected to my power bank but you can also use for instance your notebook or PC USB port phone charger and if you turn this on maybe you can see there are some LEDs inside so if you now put that um, plexiglass skull here on the inside then it lights up and this should be a holographic skull. Now the um, holo effect 
it's not as good as I've expected, but when it's fully dark, it looks kind of holographic, and I think it's a really nice decoration. So it comes with a remote control, just like with those LED strips, you probably know them from IKEA, multicolor, and here with the remote, you can change the color. So here we have red, we have here white, purple, all kind of RGB colors. Also with the remote control, you can trigger different modes. So here we have flash between the colors, but there's also fade on one, so it will fade between the colors like a slideshow. Um, you can dim it and yeah, here's a button to reset. So if you fuck up the configuration. All in all, I think it's pretty interesting because it's very cheap and it's maybe a nice decoration and I just used it on my review table. Now here one of my personal favorites, and this is a 3D printing pen. Well, I know you will say I've seen that like four years ago, but those things are still trending and they sell a lot. And here you can see it, so um, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than a normal pen. It comes with a USB cable, so with a DC um, plug, and you just plug it into your, um, yeah, your computer's USB port, the phone charger, or I like to use it with my power bank, because usually you just do it on the table and you don't have a phone charger there. But, well, it works perfectly fine with any power bank. Now the pen has here a little display and um, it's still booting up, but after it has booted up, you can set the temperature depending on the filament you're using. And as you can see, I have here a pack of filament from China. Actually, I have a second one right over here. And yeah, it comes in different colors, really cool. We can quickly um, have a close look at what we can find inside. And there we go, guys. So we have white, we have gray, we have champagne, we have brown, we have blue. We have neon colors, this is definitely my favorite one, and um, this says um, ABS on here. So depending on the filament you're using, you probably have to set different temperatures on the inside. And also, um, it depends on how fast you want to draw. Like, if you want to draw really fast, then you have to um, set a higher temperature. But I would recommend to do it in slow steps. And you can really create some pretty cool things with that thing, but um, yeah, it's definitely not like a 3D printer and it requires a lot of practice. So let's quickly have a closer look and I'll show you how this thing works. So guys, there we go. Here's the 3D pen and all I have to do is just connect it here with the cable to my power bank, then press the button and as you can see, it's now booting up. So here's a little display. And yeah, you just have to wait a little bit. And then there is one button here on the right side of the pen. And if you press it, you can switch between different modes. Currently it's on speed mode medium, that means 190 degrees. If you want to print with a higher speed, you go to 200 degrees. And also here's low speed, which is around 180 degrees. So um, the filament is not melting so fast with 180 degrees and that means also not so much is coming out and you can print with a lower speed. Well, it depends on your filament. Now, I'm not really sure this is ABS, as you can see. So um, actually it works pretty fine on medium and on high it's already very fast. It's currently heating up. We already have 180 degrees, as you can see. So I will now switch to medium and it's now heating up from 180 to 190 degrees. Now guys, on this side of the pan we have a dual button and this is to operate the feed motor inside of the pan. So basically the feed motor inside, OSM Gears is pushing the filament to the hot tip on this side, there it's melting and it's coming out and then you can draw something and as you can see this works pretty fine but first of all the pan has to get the correct temperature and then you can draw and this is currently the highest speed and it's already very fast. And I really have to admit, it's not as easy as I thought it is, but well, let's um, try to draw something and let's see how this works out. Last but not least guys, here comes my favorite one and this is the LED toilet light. Now I know it sounds really weird, but just imagine you have to go to the toilet at night. You don't want to switch on all the lights because you're really tired or you don't want to wake up all the people. But the problem is if it's completely dark, you don't see in which direction you're peeing or if you're actually peeing into the toilet. And this little guy solves all your problems. So guys, how does this thing work? 
Well, as you can see, this is the product and we have here the white cylinder case and inside there's a motion sensor. So if you go to your toilet and you actually get into the range of the motion sensor, which is two meters away from the toilet, then this um, device, which is battery powered here, will start the multicolor LED here. So you can actually attach it like this to your toilet seat. And yeah, um, all you have to do is just get in the batteries, press the button once and this thing works. The LED will light up for at least 40 seconds. It can change the color, but you can also set it to a solid color and you can also use it like a night lamp. I think it's pretty interesting because that thing costs nothing. And you know, toilets usually don't look very good, but with LED lights, everything looks good. All right, guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and I have to say some of the things are really weird and actually I had no idea that they exist. And if you also know such weird products, leave a comment down below and we'll try to check them out and get them into the next video. Talking about the next video, tomorrow there's a live stream on Facebook, so you can find also the link down below in the description. If you want to have a close look at the products, want to see us trying them out in action, so live in front of the camera, then make sure that you join our live stream. So thanks for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, comment down below and subscribe that you don't miss any future content. Also follow us on our social media like Instagram, Facebook and you can find everything down below in the description. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one.